was going to like to see him first. Yeah. So, how was that? How are you doing, big fella? How are you? You good? Come here. Yeah. Welcome. Good, good to see you here. Luke, first of all, congratulations and very warm welcome to, to Burnley Football Club. How happy are you that the move's finalising you and you hear it at our training ground? Yeah, unreal, yeah. Absolutely buzzing. So um, when I heard about the interest, I was obviously very excited and for it all to happen in the end is, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about it. Very quick turnaround, wasn't it? You was, uh, you was away on pre-season with Oxford and you jumped on a flight and straight over, straight over to Burnley. Yeah, it seems like, yeah. It's all happened so quick, really. Um, yeah, next thing you're in a taxi and you're heading to the airport and you're... Uh, everything's running through your head of what to expect and what's to come. So um, I'm just really excited, really excited to just get to know the lads. And, and uh, yeah, it's another big step up for me, but I'm really excited for it. What was your initial feeling when you when you got confirmation that you were uh, you were potentially coming here to Burnley? Yeah, I just couldn't believe it, really. Uh, really excited. And um, it was only my first season in Oxford. So um, to hear about interest that early was, was obviously very, very satisfying. So. Um, and then learning about the manager and stuff and, and the size of the club, which I knew already. Um, it was obviously very flattering, so delighted. You, you spent the eight, last 18 months at, at Oxford United. Um, what are you looking to bring from your spell at Oxford over that 18 months here to Burnley? I uh, have to just bring my own game, do what I've been doing, um, which has obviously been working for me. So um, I know it's a big step up again, which I'm used to. I came from Ireland to, to League One and and done well there, so I'm looking forward to the next one now. Um, but yeah, it's just about bonding with the lads, getting to know everyone, fitting into like the club and stuff here, and then implementing myself, yeah. We'll go right back to the start of your career. What, what? So you, you, you first started out in Ireland. Could you just talk me a little bit through your time in Ireland? Yeah, I actually just started started local with my club, Enfield Celtic. Um, played with them since I was five or six and, and loved it. Loved going up and playing with them. and. Um, never really moved from them all the way till I was maybe 14 or 15 and started to take it more seriously. Um, so probably a bit more of a late developer than, than most players and um, then moved on to St. Uh, no, I moved to Drada. I uh, moved to Drada United around 17, a League of Ireland club, done very well there and great, great club and ended up going back on loan to them from St. Pat's um, after a couple of years there. So kind of been around a little bit in Ireland and Really enjoyed my time there. Um, have great memories and still have good friends from it all. You had a bit of a goal scoring record out there too, didn't you? Yeah, when I when I got into my into my first senior career, um, first senior team, really, I I done quite well. Just started hitting the back of the net quite regularly um, from centre back there. So great memories. Um, you're playing in front of two thousand fans there when you're like eighteen, nineteen, and you think it's like I think it's like playing in playing in Wembley or something, but. Um, great experiences, only only happy memories really. You made the tra the transition from uh, from from the league in Ireland to, to League One very quickly. How did you find that from from going over from Ireland, then coming over to England and playing in League One, which is you know a, a very competitive division too? Yeah, it's a tough league. Um, probably could get overlooked a bit much. Um, with there's big clubs in that league, and um, you can see the teams that have come up to the championship. There's big squads and and big clubs, so. Obviously a big challenge um, coming from Ireland into that setup was difficult, but I think I adapted well. Um, Oxford were very good to me. They sort of signed me in January and, and eased me into it. They didn't chuck me straight in the deep end and that probably helped. I had a lot of time to learn, a lot of time to build up that, that feel and that kind of hunger to get into the team and stuff. So it was a slow process, but obviously it worked out in the end. And when you did get your opportunity, you took it with both hands, didn't you? Is that something you're looking to now do here at Burnley? Yeah, 100%, the exact same. I, I see it as completely the same transition, really. It's it's um, very similar to, to what I've done in my career so far, is come into a club and, and have to make that impact and have to make that jump up to the up to the next level. So I'm, I'm very confident I can do that. And for the, for the Burnley supporters that don't know too much about you at this moment in time, what could you tell them about you? What kind of centre-half are you? Um, I'd like to say probably traditional, like I, I defend first, first and foremost. But obviously, as you see with the with the way the game's gone, it's there's more requirements for a centre half than just being a good defender. So um, I'd like to think on the ball. I've I've improved a lot, and yeah, hope to um, hope to excite the fans a little bit anyway. And Burnley over the recent years have had a you know a tradition of very good central defenders. You look at the the players that have played for the for the club over the last four to five years, and then you even take uh, your international teammate in, in Nathan Collins as well, and how he's gone through the ranks here at, at Burnley. Is that an inspiration for you? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, to see how well they've all done, uh, it seems like every centre half that that's played here has done quite well. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't compare myself to anyone though. It's about it's about me doing my best, and that's the way I look at it. But yeah, obviously learning and learning off the good players is is very important, and and great to see Nathan doing so well as well um, from Ireland as well. So delighted for him and look forward to meeting him and playing him with him. There could be no bigger inspiration than, than, than Vincent Company, the manager who played hundreds of games in the Premier League in, in your position too. Yeah, 100%. Like, that's one of the big things really coming here. Um, despite the brilliant training ground facilities and the size of the club and everything, the manager is probably the main thing really to learn off someone like that who's been one of the best, um, not only in this league and this country, but in the world really. So I'm um, obviously very excited for that and we'll, we'll learn it as much as I can really. How did it feel when you received that phone call from Vincent and he, he talked to you and he wanted you to be a Burnley player in a position that he made famous as his own? How, what did that feel like? Yeah, it was incredible. Um, I was with my friend at the time, actually, funny enough. So <laughs> the two of us were just, uh, yeah, we couldn't believe it. We were ecstatic, really. Um, but then that quickly goes away and, and you start getting more serious and you start thinking about it. And, and now it seems quite normal. But at the time, yeah, when I got the first phone call, very, very strange, yeah. Very strange. Is it exciting for you as well that you can see the philosophy of what, what Vincent's saying in his interviews and what he's and the message he's putting across to you as a, as a group of players as well, of the, how he's trying to bring younger players through and he's trying to build something here, you know, that's not just a, a 12 month project, it's a four, five, six year project. Yeah, really exciting. And it's, it's something that I want to be a part of as well. When you hear that um, coming from the manager, it's obviously, it's obviously exactly what a young player wants to hear. So. Um, I think it's a very smart way to operate, really, that sort of method. Um, I can see it working very well for the club and uh, brings longevity to it. And yeah, hopefully I can be a part of that. Now you can get down to, to pre-season training and uh, get some running. Are you looking forward to, to getting involved and meeting the group of lads? Yeah, absolutely. Just want to get involved now and, and uh, yeah, just want to, want to experience it all now.